Welcome to week five of the Illustriad, where Shady Penguin, representing Hephaestus, is throwing down against Drooby, representing Aeolus. If you missed our pregame, you should check it out in the description below and see what these two casters are bringing for this clash. But these two have known each other for a very long time, and they are vying for one of the final spots of the playoffs as we head towards the tail end of the season. So this clash has some pretty serious implications. One of the things we're looking to see in this one is whether or not Shady can execute his eruption strategies against a wind deck that Drooby is bringing that often uses a lot of spirits to be able to do what it wants to do. So I think we've got a really epic matchup here, and I think that I'm going to give Shady the advantage going into it. But anything can happen. Drooby's been playing incredibly well this season, and I think you guys are in for a good one here. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who you think is going to win this one, and let's dive into the clash. Here we go, diving into this one. Two close friends throwing down again, looking to get a slot in the playoffs. They're fighting for it. They're trying to make it happen. Shady Penguin kicking things off with a Mustation in defense position, opening up that Majesty starter deck to grab those Krakatugas to give himself a chance to be able to execute a really cool slow burn deck with Eruption. I think it's a really fun deck, and I think it's actually pretty anti-meta. Sorlet hits the field here, and Sorlet's the exact thing that Drooby's looking for to be able to potentially change the position of that Mustation and force it off the field by attacking it with its lower stat. Now, Shady could respond here, of course, by using its effect, but that would be a pretty poor play. So the Sorlet is going to indeed expend to change the Mustation's position, and Shady's considering some counter rune play. It's going to be a Tsunami here on the first turn of the game. Tsunami going to shift that Sorlet into defense position, put Shady in an incredible spot. If he can get a Galaxy to the field right now, that would actually be insane. But either, even so, he can e e uh, expend from the Mustation and be able to hit over the Sorlet no matter what. So we're going to see a Nectar of the Gods. Shady going to grab a couple more resources from the top of his deck and draw two cards here and just add to his card pool. He showed off a little bit of fire, a little bit of water there in terms of his spirits. And here comes a Thunder Spirit. Is this going to be the Astrabit? It is going to be an Astrabit into defense position. That's going to give him the opportunity to look at the top three of his deck and add one to hand. I love this. Getting the draw power with Nectar of the Gods and then getting even more power. Oh, the, the Rabbit's in attack position, which is even better, which means he doesn't have to spend the Spirit on Mustation to be able to take out the Sorlet. So this all works out. He sets a back row and he puts himself in a spot where that Sorlet goes down and then Mustation is going to hit directly against Drooby. I mentioned as we were heading into this clash here that Drooby is going to have to keep a very close eye on his spirit deck as wind often goes big or goes home. You got to use a lot of spirits to use the tools in wind effectively to get out your Hydrace, your Penteras, your Twindras, to use your Aeolus effectively. And if you're kind of starting to dw get dwindled down, those eruptions, those, those little chip damages can make a huge difference here. Now Hydrake is going to hit the field. This is what Drooby wants. Still very early in the clash. An opportunity for him to be able to get this effect off potentially get out a Pantera early on. Shady has an opportunity here. Do I want to use an Expend on my Mustation to basically force this Hydrate to either crash Mustation or go into the Astrava? It looks like he's going to Tsunami it again. So Shady rocking multiple Tsunamis, proven to be incredibly useful to prevent Drooby from getting any sort of momentum here in the early parts of this clash. And let's see if Shady has any sort of an answer. He's going to enchant his Mustation with a Fire Spear. No, he's going to go for the Ascension into Krakatuga. A huge play from Shady Penguin, as now Krakatuga can utilize his effect to expend two fire and deal three damage to Drooby. And again, this is going to be big because if you can do this and prevent Drooby from having the opportunity to get that Pentera out, that could be massive. We're going to see a Fire and a Thunder Spirit hit the field for Shady and a Drops of Leaf. Really cool card. You can really see that Shady's starting to think of these strategies and find some new ways to execute the game plan that he wants. He's going to put all three of those back in an Ambrosia, a Sluggle, a Foamy, and he's going to get three new cards, most certainly digging for an Eruption. Let's take a listen in. Fire uh, Spirits to play Eruption. Okay. So I, you must expend three spirit unless you control a fire, uh, fire enchanted Elestral. Okay, and then eruption resolves. So crack crack will activate, and I can target and destroy any card on the field. I'm gonna destroy your uh, Elestral. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then I'm going to activate Krakatuga. So I expend two more fire. Puts me at three, six, eight health. And you take three more. You have to expend three as well. 
He could just do that himself without eruption. Yeah, that's his effect. Uh, you can expend two fire to force an opponent to expend three. A huge turn from Shady, getting off the eruption and then getting off Krakatuka's effect. That's gonna hit Druby for a ton of spirits this turn. I think the only thing that I would have liked to see out of this is the offensive play from Krakatuga and Astravic because he could have potentially gotten another three spirits off, but I can understand if he doesn't have the back row to kind of provide the support that he needs to keep Krakatuga alive, keeping in defense position probably makes the most sense here. Drewby gonna draw, he's down to 10 spirits now. Obviously, Drewby's still in the lead here, but he's gotta figure out how do I get over this Krakatuga now? This thing is a menace. Nine defense makes it very difficult, but he's got the exact answer. He needs Earthquake. Very, very clutch there from Drewby. Gonna cost him two spirits to do so, but he does clear that Krakatuka off the field, and that's gonna give Drewby an opening to potentially get some momentum back in this clash getting rid of Shady's biggest Elestral. Here comes Astrabit. That's gonna give him the opportunity to look at the top three cards of his deck and add one to hand. The exact card Druby's looking for right now, and he's gonna set a back row as a result of it. I gotta say, despite the fact that Shady executed that huge combo there that previous turn, Druby responded with excellence there, being able to kind of turn back the game and get himself right back into this. And now it's anybody's clash at this point because Druby's got his Astrabit. We got a mirror match Astrabit. Druby's got two... Uh, two runes face down. Looks like Shady is going to go for an expend to draw here, it seems. And now Druby is looking to execute his strategy with seven spirits to go. He's got a lead. He's got another Astrabit. Going to hit, hit down to the field. Astrabit's going to give him another look and again, continue to fortify his defenses. If you're Shady, you're really wishing you still had that Ambrosia for earlier, but Druby says, no, 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 no. I got my own Ambrosia. I'm going to regenerate some spirits and keep myself in this clash a little bit longer. One of my favorite decks to run as of late is indeed this Krakatuga deck that Shady's bringing. I think it's very good against a lot of decks in the metagame right now, if, especially if you're not able to hit over the Krakatuga and you can kind of surprise, surprise people at the end of the clash with uh, eruptions as you get kind of lower. Uh, in this case, Shady wasn't able to really take advantage of Druby's win deck as Druby really didn't uh, have any opportunities to kind of uh, you know, use A-list or kind of gain any sort of momentum there. But here comes a Thunder Spear from Druby, and we're going to see the Boom Bat. Boom Bat going to be exactly what he needs because now he can take out the Astrabit if he wants to. And Shady's looking at his rune. He's thinking about what he's going to do. This is going to be interesting here. Boom Bat, of course, can self-destruct, disenchant from itself, and take out that Astrabit. He's going to do it. Now, Shady's going to activate Gorgon's Gaze. Oh, my goodness. Let's listen in. Is the cost? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because after you pay the cost, uh, the Electro doesn't go to the underworld uh, and, uh, until the chain ends. Okay. So, for the duration of the chain, it's still on the field. So, you can Gorgon's Gaze in that case. Gotcha. So a really cool little ruling situation there where when you have Elestrals that have card effects that say in order to, that means that a cost must be paid. In the context of Boom Bat there, it has to pay the cost of disenchanting a Thunder Spirit in order to do the next thing, which in this case is target and destroy an Elestral. So there is a window of opportunity for Shady there to Gorgon's Gaze the Boom Bat after it's disenchanted with its in order to effect to prevent that effect from happening and also send Boom Bat to the Underworld because it no longer has enough spirits to enchant itself. So pretty cool stuff there from Shady and a well-timed Gorgon's Gaze there to keep him in the game because if that Gorgon's Gaze doesn't happen, he almost certainly has lost at this point, but he's gonna grab an Ambrosia of his own and be able to regenerate three spirits, keep it a minute. This is gonna be super close as Drewby's down to six and he's getting closer and closer to double eruption strike range. And if you're Shady, I think that's what you're playing for at this point. You're basically saying to yourself, if I can get him to three or if I can get him to two or if I can get him to five and I can activate those double eruptions, I put myself in a really powerful position to win this game. But Druby is just outside of that range and we don't know if Shady even has that yet. Looks like we might have an ascension coming in and Glidesdale's gonna ascend from the Aramare. Druby making big plays and he's gonna use the effect of the Aeromare to enchant and become an empowerment on that Glidesdale. That means Glidesdale can attack twice. It seems as though Drewby opts to not attack despite that. And now Shady's got an opportunity here. He's gonna throw down a drops of Leaf again, hanging on at the end. He's got a neck rough. He's got a handful of things uh, uh, resting on your laurels. He had a lot of cards in his hand. He's definitely fishing for this double eruption here in the late game. He's gonna have a huge refreshed hand now after this. And there's an opportunity for him to come back. Here comes a water spirit. It's going to be a foamy. 
And that's going to make Drewby think twice about the attacks he goes for. And it's going to give Shady a little bit more life as he could potentially float that Foamy into something that can kind of hold it down. A little surprised to see Drewby not going on the offensive, but maybe a little too scared of that back row. Drewby going to draw into his card down to just four spirits. Shady has three. He's not going to be able to use two eruptions at this point unless he pulls out another Ambrosia. Here comes a Wind Spirit, and it's going to be a P Gust. That could be mega huge as now Pegas can start popping those back rows of Shady Penguin. Does Shady have an answer to this Pegas or is he just going to start losing his runes? This could be a crucial moment in this clash as if this Pegas hits the right target, it could send Shady packing. Let's find out. I'm looking at his face. Shady's face looks a little bit defeated. I'm curious what Drewby's going for. He's really thinking about it. Drewby's got a full rune row with his arrow mare. It's going to be a Gorgon's Gaze that goes down. Gorgon's Gaze. Now, Drewby turns everything into attack position. He's going to attack with the Glidesdale. It's going to take out the Astrabbit. Glidesdale has an opportunity to attack again if it wants to into the Foamy. And then Shady's going to be able to float his Foamy into something else. Now, of course, that is going to cost him another Spirit and bring this game closer to his demise as he only has three Spirits left. Foamy goes to the Underworld. Shady's going to be able to search his deck and activate Foamy's effect. And he goes for the Sluggle. Love this play. One of my favorite strategies to use in this deck is the Foamy Float Sluggle because it basically gives you a free three spirits back. And now Shady's in a position where if he can get his Krakatuga out, he could legitimately just win this game because Krakatuga can fire off its effect and it can take down the rest of Drewby's spirits and then attack the Astrabbit for game. It also gives him an opportunity to be stronger than the Glidesdale and force Glidesdale to have to use its effect to attack over if he got his Krakatuka out. But let's see here. He's going to go for two Water Spirits and play a late game Nectar of the Gods. A little surprised to see that. Those late game Nogs are always a little tricky, but this could be a window of opportunity for him to again find those that eruption that he's looking for. And an eruption at Krakatuka would be huge. He's got a Fire Spirit. He's got an Ambrosia. Oh my goodness. Hang it on. At the very end here, he's going to grab a couple fire. That tells me he is being very cognizant of this eruption play. He probably knows that that could be his win con. Five spirits. Drewby has three, but he has a Glidesdale on the field. Shady does not have enough Elestral Presence here to keep that Glidesdale at bay. He's got another Water Spirit, though, and it's going to be another Foamy. Does Shady have a second Sluggle in his deck to float to? We're going to find out here shortly. Drewby's going to draw for his turn. Three spirits to go. Coming down to the final moments of this clash. Drewby trying to figure out what can I do here. That Foamy's going to get knocked out. And he's got another Sluggle. Shady keeping himself in this clash with the Sluggle squad, baby. Sluggle, such a fun Elestral to float out from your Foamy. Because getting those three spirits back is so clutch. And it's basically free. And it's going to stop the Pegas and the Astravis from being able to attack. And obviously this Glidesdale can hit it. But Shady's putting himself in a really good spot being able to live just long enough to try to find the pieces of his deck that he needs to execute these final few turns and if you're drooby you gotta know i can't advance any more spirits because eruption could just cost me the game now don't forget he does have the freedom to use those spirits on board that looks like an expend to draw so he's gonna try to get another piece of the puzzle fishing for that eruption he's gonna pass this could be it right here glidesdale's gonna attack does shitty have a tsunami to save him he's looking at his runes he has his third tsunami oh my goodness everything's going to defense position and this it all comes down to this can shady get the draw he's looking for down to just four spirits against drewby's three shady cannot deal with this full field that drewby has he's gonna need to make a play does he have an answer he's counting his spirits he's thinking about his turn drewby has all the chance in the world to win this one drewby's gonna change everything to attack there's no more tsunamis to save the day if shady doesn't have a way to stop this glidesdale he is going to lose this clash. It's a shield of Achilles to bounce the Glidesdale back. Oh my goodness. And that is going to utilize pretty much the rest of Shady Spirits. Glidesdale goes back to his hand and Sluggle remains for another day. Only one spirit left for Shady as he tries desperately to get back into this one to find a way that he could potentially win. He's looking for the cards. He does not have the ability to cast another eruption because he doesn't have enough spirits to do so. He's got a fire spirit. It's going to be a misenchanted Astravit. And now Drewby's in a position where he could simply get that Glidesdale back out and he could just win. Here comes a Jolton rather. So he's going to play the Jolton. That's going to allow him to get some stadium control in this four attack Jolton. Can indeed hit over those defenders. If he gets the right thing, Island of Aeolia could be big because that's going to allow Pegas to hit over the Sluggle as well. 
But that Astrabid's five defense still gonna stand strong here. So Island of Aeolia does come down. Drewby down to just one spirit. Does Shady have any way to stop this down to zero spirits on his end? But the five defense Astrabit is gonna be able to hold them off for now. Let's listen in. Jolton's four, right? And Pigus is three now? Yeah, he's three. Pigus is three, four now. Uh, yeah, Slogo's gone. Actually, there's no reason to. Well, that's literally all I got, so your turn. All right, here we go. Ambrosia, top deck. Wow. That was really good. Um, I'll pass. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a Glidesdale out, but I'm gonna put it. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It may just be. Can I do that. That's good. It looks strong, man. Looks real strong. I think Glidesdale is gonna attempt to. The rabbit? You fool! I will not let you kill my rabbit. I'm shielding and I can't do it, you win. <laughs> you got it, GG, man. Ambrosia, no! That was, that was don't, a, don't really show, next card? do not show me the next card is eruption. I will. What a crazy end to that one. Drew me on the back of his Glidesdale, actually gonna take victory here against Shady Penguin and tighten up this playoff race even more so than before. An incredible clash between these two casters. I gotta give it to Drewby. He hung in there the whole game. He was able to establish board dominance, get that Glidesdale out there. Shady hung in there. He had his tsunamis, he had his sluggles. They kept him in the game, but wasn't able to get the eruption he needed to seal the deal and didn't have enough spirits at the end to make it happen either way. As that Ambrosia showed up at the very end, but it wasn't gonna be enough without that eruption. Another thriller in the Illustriad. Be sure to show some love, hit that like button down below, and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys in the next match of the Illustriad.